Good morning, everyone. This is Prem's Crypto Market Update for October 5th, 2018. Welcome, everyone. Bitcoin still hovering at $6,500 level, unchanged. And if we look basically in the top 10, uh, most of the coins are unchanged except a Ripple, which is down 3.6%, doing 52 cents right now, and um, uh, Bitcoin Cash, 2.7% down, doing 5 hundred and thirteen dollars so if we look at the market cap 217 billion um, well that's basically a couple of billion less than yesterday and if we can see at the volumes the last 24 hour volumes were very very low we're seeing here about uh, 12 billion uh, in, in in volume basically BTC dominance still steady at 52 percent and if we look at the coins which have gone up in the last 24 hours we can see Genesis Vision up 26%, Aurora up 20%, and Nexo up 18%, Holo up 15%, Cyber Miles up 12%. The coins which went down are Sia Coin, NEM, Bitcoin Gold, and Denta Coin, all between um, 4 and 5%. Sia Coin only went 10% down. All right. So the news is basically uh, about the market. The market is uh, patiently waiting for a uh, breakout. I've talked to a couple of traders. Uh, some are quite bullish that there will be a breakout to the top. And also there are a lot of um, traders which basically say technically uh, Bitcoin should be going down by showing that, you know, this is a uh, triangle, a wedge, where basically either a breakout or a breakdown would happen. The reason being that volumes are so low. Uh, really, the volumes are very, very low in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And that's the reason why people are looking at both. Um, Mike Novogratz, who lately said basically that the bottom has reached, has now come out this week by saying that Bitcoin might break out this year to $9,000. Let's see and watch. All right, the next news is from Coinbase. So the number five employee of Coinbase, Adam White, is leaving Coinbase, basically. Um, he, was use, he was leading, basically, institutional platform uh, for their custodianship. So um, the reason is not really explained in this article, but more importantly, yeah, it's a big hit for Coinbase that their number five employee, um, which is basically the guy for institutional platforms, um, is leaving this San Francisco-based startup. Yesterday, I was telling everybody that um, Coinbase has now got a valuation of $8 billion which is basically four times more than earlier this, this year, which is really, really amazing. All right, so the next and last news is about basically uh, banks are enthusiastic about cryptos waiting for regulators to invest. The whole thing is that, you know, uh, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup or Morgan Stanley are on the sideline and they're not doing anything in the market at this point because um, they're just waiting for regulation. So uh, what, what it is, is basically they, um, Morgan Stanley has come, come out and said that they've developed the infrastructure required to provide complex um, derivatives to Bitcoin. Um, so they are, you know, uh, launching a Bitcoin swap trading as soon as the bank sees enough demand from the institutional uh, investor to do so. And of course, they have to wait for the regulators to give a green signal. So uh, if you look right now in the derivatives markets, we have Deribit on one hand, and on the other hand, we have Bitmax. All right, this was the news for today. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one.